Hello, it's Ali. Welcome to Scale Addiction. So in the previous video, we 3D printed the whole chassis and glued it together with PAHD by Bamboo Lab, which is a heat resistant material. And in today's video, I 3D printed the whole panels with PET CF, which is also a heat resistant material. And the texture is very nice, but it comes only in black, this and also PAHD material. And I 3D printed the spoiler. So if you're wondering what we're gonna do with the glasses because with the glasses it will be more realistic because in the future we will put the interior as well i already designed the dashboard but it's a free sketch it's not the last one so i still have to work on it so for the glasses i already sent all my files to pcb way for 3d printing in different material which i showed you in the previous video so today we got the package this video is sponsored by pcb way Think about PCB Way as all-in-one platform for CNC machining, 3D printing, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. If you are working on a custom design like me and you want to have highest 3D print quality, this is the way to go. You just have to upload the STL file here, choose the material, and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCB Way is linked in the video description box below for more information. Thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. All right, we're gonna start with the chassis. This is a resin printed chassis, which the quality is very nice and you can't see any mark on it. And if I 3D print it with resin, you will see the support material marks, but with this one, it's very clear. And also the measurement is correct. For the arms, I always have to clean these holes for this shaft. But for this one, I don't have to clean anything and it's going in perfectly good. So this is for the chassis. We also have the back chassis, which came out really good. Okay, moving on, we have the glasses. There's the back glass, which came out really clear. And it will be sitting like this. And I already made small pins for this and it will hold the glass like this. We also have the headlights and tail light as well and the glasses for the tail light and headlight which comes like this. In the future I will also put lights in it for turn signal, lights and everything. There is the tail light, it came out really nice. And there is one important thing that we all been waiting for is the exhaust. This is a metal 3D printed exhaust so we don't have to worry about anything. They also sent me some gift, which is really nice. This is the material that been 3D printed the glass with. And we also have a ruler, which is like PCB board and a pen. So I'm gonna leave this for you. What we should do with this chassis? Should I make another one electrical or we can make another one with four cylinder engine? And we have another surprise for this. So Sterling Kid sent me another engine with just Toyan four cylinder gasoline engine. So this is Sterling Kids water cooled 4 cylinder engine gasoline. It will be really nice if we do something with this engine. And I'm gonna leave this guys for you what we should do with this engine and that chassis. Soon we're gonna build this engine and start it up and use it for another project. Okay next another update that I have is the fuel tank. This is not realistic and it's very small it will run out the fuel very easily. So I made this it's just like real car and I made these fins in it so it doesn't move and yeah this is will be connected like this and it goes to quarter panel. We can fill it up from the gas door. This is the quarter panel, we're gonna put the gas door and then this will comes here and it will be bolted. Then the fuel tank pipe and then goes here. But this is not a final version, I already made the final version with a cap on it so we can put this cap in it because with this one we can't see how much fuel we have so I made this and you just have to take this pin out and put it over here and this fuel tank will be with a cap. We're gonna test print it with the resin printer and then test it out and after that I'm gonna send it to PCB way to be 3D printed like a clear just like the headlights and the glasses so we can always see how much fuel we have. 
All right, next update that I have is the transmission. The angle was very stiff, so I changed that. The shaft not gonna be here anymore. I made this one part, which is 3D printed. I know it's not gonna hold up for sure, but I made it like this, so we're gonna send it to PCB way to be 3D printed with metal, just like the exhaust. But for now, it's really good, and it's only one part. It also has this groove for the drive shaft so it doesn't spin. But yeah, this is how it will be and I will 3D print it with metal. Another update I did for the door. This is the latch for the door which you can use a magnet for this and it has a slider so you can put it out and in a bit. So this is how it will be. So these are the pins. It's also 3D printed and I'm gonna use it for holding up the glasses like this which you can use a small screw. For the trunk I did 4 screws and for the front I did only 2. Alright, I'm gonna put all these panels on the car and see how it looks. For now everything looks good, all the panels on the car, but I don't think I will paint this because like this it looks really good and with that matte finish it doesn't look like it's been 3D printed. And I also have these for the sides, so when I'm done I will put them on and you can glue this on the side. I didn't make pins because there is not much of room and there is no much material so it will break. It's better to glue it and it will make the panel even stronger. Let me guys know what I should do with this chassis. Should I make it electrical or I should use Toyon's 4 cylinder engine with this? And what body should I use? Should I make it another Supra or R34 Nissan Skyline? This is what I have in my mind. And the transmission, this is the final version for this. I did six or seven versions of this, but this is the final one and I will send it to PCB weight with 3D printed with metal. And then I will put it on and take it for a test drive with the new tank and all these upgrade parts. Hope you guys enjoying the project as I do with all these upgrades parts. So for the next video, we're gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.